This is hallowed ground. This is the Piazza Michael Schumacher at Fiorano, at Ferrari's test track. And on my left is Enzo Ferrari's old house, which also Michael Schumacher used to use when he used to test the Ferraris out here. What are we doing here? We are testing Ferrari's latest V8. This comes in a long line of V8, which stretches back 40 years. This is the F8 Tributo and it pays tribute to the turbo V8 engine in the back of the car. This engine, it debuted with the 488 GTB. It won the International Engine of the Year for four years running, was voted the best engine of the past 20 years and now in its greatest evolution is in the back of the F8 Tributo. Unfortunately, it's a wet, rainy day, but then we are driving a Ferrari and there are worse jobs in the world. So let's get on with it. So the F8 Tributo actually pays tribute to that engine. In a way, this car has been built around that engine, built to celebrate, commemorate that engine. The engine is sort of like what you have in the back of the Pista. Compared to the 488, they say it is 50% new. And also compared to the Pista, this one gets the gasoline particulate filter which actually sucks in quite a bit of power from the engine but they've still managed to get the same horsepower 720 horsepower the same as the pista and of course it gets all the tricks from the pista so it's got the ferrari dynamic enhancer side slip 6.1 fa tributo in terms of the lap time it is one second quicker than the 488 gtp the Pista is slightly quicker than this, but with the same tyres, the difference is slightly less than a second. The Pista is obviously quicker. Ferrari say that the F8 Tributo has been designed to be in the same garage as a Pista. So if you have a Pista, it's not like the F8 is the same as the Pista. This is more of a regular usable Ferrari. Usable Ferrari in a very relative term. But the Pista is more edgy more hardcore on the f8 you can get the cup 2 tires as an option it's of course a car to be used on weekends a car for the driver all ferraris have carbon brakes this one has incredible stopping power as you'd expect from a high performance car and this is a fast car it's an astonishingly quick car And now we head off onto the road to see what the F8 Tributo is like on the road. In a way, this puts down all the power, the weight. <laughs> In a way, this puts down all the power, the weight moves. The way it sounds incredible. <laughs> what a job testing Ferrari is. I always say I have the best job in the world <laughs> to be driving a new Ferrari up in the hills above Modena over roads that Ferraris were built and tested over. Wow, doesn't get better than this. Speaking about sound, the F8, it has these hot tubes. So basically that's a resonator that takes sounds from the exhaust and pipes it into the cabin. Now it's not an artificial sound. It's an authentic sound that is just fed inside the cabin. They claim that it is now eight decibels louder. And it definitely sounds louder and actually much nicer than the 488 GTB more hard-edged of course it still sounds like a turbo engine there's more of the whistling from the turbo so all you fans of naturally aspirated engines you can still moan and groan but then again naturally aspirated engines they are finished and as for this 
you might as well enjoy a turbo engine while it lasts until everybody is forced to make electrics i wonder what an electric ferrari would be like why do you buy an electric ferrari anyway let's live in the present in the now and enjoy a truly spectacular v8 ferrari now this is a turbocharged engine but ferrari says there is zero turbo lag no turbo lag at all and i have to agree there is nothing the throttle response is instantaneous it's quite unlike any other turbocharged engine the response is instant turbo lag really there's nothing no turbo lag at all the really cool bit about ferrari is, is that even over these bumpy roads and these are roads that it was designed over it actually rides and handles it is not uncomfortable it's not bouncy it has a nice smooth edge to it you can obviously feel it now this is a 720 horsepower car so it is really really quick so you needs really good suspension but it's not overly firm it's not uncomfortable these are almost roads like you would find in ambi valley or lavasa so if you buy a uh, fa tributer and drive it around in india you can use it you can use the power you can drive it quick and have an absolute blast the lucky sod who buys this car the sky is the limit in terms of how you spec it the fa tributor it is coming to india the launch is in february 2020 it will be priced at 4 crores ek showroom obviously plus options and you can really go mad with options you can go mad with the throttle also <laughs> but you can go mad with the options lot of carbon fiber you can lay carbon fiber all over the place in terms of the aerodynamics obviously ferraris have got a lot of aero on them it's got the s duct in the front so it uses that channel to direct more downforce to the front the radiators have been repositioned so it gives cleaner air to the intercoolers at the back it's got a blown uh, rear spoiler the spoiler is also a little bigger it clears out the eddies that vortex is it's got movable flaps in the diffuser lot of stuff i'm not an aerodynamist but it does make a difference apparently and in terms of the lap time this car is <laughs> really really quick and the cool thing about italy is they really let you go fast in a ferrari everybody moves out of the way they let you really belt down these roads Really quick, astonishing. Fucking road cars, road cars moving like this. It's like a missile between corners, and even in the corners, man, the grip. <laughs> This is just a rear-wheel drive car. Remember, it's not all-wheel drive. What joy what joy Subscribe to the Evo India channel and hit the bell icon to keep pace with the thrill of driving.